Hi there, in this video I want to take you through a number of examples that will illustrate how to use this very handy number line um, that shows all of the common units that you will need to be able to convert to and from. Now, this is, might not be a number line that uh, you will get in an exam situation, so it is very useful if you can memorize this number line and the various units displayed on it and uh, draw this down on a piece of paper if you are in an exam situation because it will be very helpful just to remind you how to convert from one kind of unit to another. So basically, the way that the number line works is um, we start here on the uh, far left with the smallest unit, the pico. The pico is 10 to the negative 12. Nano, 10 to the negative 9. Micro, 10 to the negative 6. Milli, 10 to the negative 3. Here's kind of the, the center point. Then kilo, 10 to the positive 3. Mega, 10 to the 6. Giga, 10 to the 9. So a kilo is 1,000 times, uh, 1 million times, 1 billion times. This is 1 thousandth, 1 millionth, 1 billionth, and 1 trillionth. When you're moving from smaller units to bigger units, well, you obviously need to divide to keep the value the same, okay? If you were to move from, say, um, you know, one milliliter, and you wanted to move up to liters, then you would need to divide the one by a thousand to get from milliliters to liters. If you were going from a bigger unit to a smaller unit, well, then you need to multiply. So, if we were moving from, say, three kilometers down to just meters, well, we know we need to multiply the three by a thousand to get the three thousand meters. Okay, so when moving in this direction from smaller units to bigger units, we need to divide. When moving in this direction from bigger units to smaller units, we need to multiply. But let's do some examples to see how this works. Okay, first example is to convert 45 nanovolts to volts. Okay, so we're dealing here in the nano range 10 to the 9 and we want to go from this point on the number line to volts. In other words, there's no uh, prefix that's being applied. So we want to go to this point over there. Okay, so we're moving from smaller units to bigger units, which means that we need to divide. We're moving from left to right so we need to divide. Now, when moving from nanovolts to just volts, well, what's the difference in the exponent? The difference in the exponent, we can see, we go from negative 9 to 0. Well, the difference in the exponent is 10 to the power 9, okay? The difference in the power is from 10 to the negative 9 all the way up to 0, or well, that's 10 to the positive, that's, that's 10 to the 9, and we know that because we're moving from left to right, we need to divide the number by that distance on the number line. So, 45 nanovolts, if we were dividing that by 10 to the power 9, that will give us our answer. Now, we could do this manually because we know how to move the decimal point around, but I'm just going to take a shortcut and get up a calculator and do this with a calculator. So, that is 45 divided by 10 to the power 9. And that's going to be equal to, there's my answer. Right, how many zeros do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then the 4. So this is 0 0.1234567, and then 4, 5. Okay, if you wanted to check that this was in fact correct, well, we could move that decimal point to, in a sense, undo what we've just done, and we'd have to move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That will give us back decimal point over there, 45. But we've uh, had to divide now by 10 to the power 9. Uh, sorry, multiply by 10 to the power 10 to the power 9. Okay, so this answer is correct. And um, 
we saw that we had to move from, to get from negative 9 all the way to 0, we were moving in the divide direction, so we had to divide by the difference in the exponents, which was 9. Let's do another example. Okay, convert 38.5 milliamps to nanoamps. Okay, so milliamps, well, we're going from the milli part of the number line to the nano part of the number line. So we are moving from a bigger unit down to a smaller unit. We're moving in this direction, so we need to multiply. Um, and what number do we need to multiply by? Well, we need to look at the difference between the exponent values. This is negative 9, this is negative 3. The difference in the exponent values is 6. So 38.5 milliamps, we would have to multiply that by 10 to the power 6. That's the difference between the negative 9 and the negative 3. And we know we need to multiply because we're going from bigger units down to smaller units. That will be equal to, I'm going again going to do that on my calculator, 38.5 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 is 385, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. So 385, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. So what is this? Let's put a, a, a thousand separator there. Thousand. That's 38,500,000, what's the new unit? Nano amps. Nano amps. We've moved from milliamps all the way down to nano amps. Let's have a look at another example. In this case, we want to convert uh, 6.783 times 10 to the negative 4 kilovolts to millivolts. So we want to you move from kilovolts Where's my pen gone? There we go. We want to move from a kilovolt all the way down to millivolts. So we're going to move from bigger to smaller. We're moving in this direction, which means that we need to multiply the number to move from the bigger unit to the smaller unit. Um, the first thing that we should do when um, converting this number, because it's in this exponential um, form in scientific notation, let's rewrite this number out um, normally. So 6.783 times 10 to the negative 4, well that is going to be equal to, we need to move the decimal point uh, 4 places, so we're going to move it 1, there will be a 0 there, 2, there will be a 0 there, 3, there will be a 0 there, oops I didn't leave myself enough space, there will be a 0 there, so this is 0, Point one two three, then six seven eight three. Uh, that is kilovolts. Okay, right. Now we can convert this number into millivolts. What factor do we need to multiply by? Well, what's the difference in the exponents? Now be careful. The difference in the exponents is well, the difference of three to get from three to zero. And then there's another 3 to get from 0 to negative 3. So the, the total difference is 6. Now, if you do mathematics, you'll, you'll know that this is the absolute value. Um, but for our purposes, just count on the number line. 1, 2, 3 hops, 4, 5, 6 hops to get from the one unit to the other unit. So we need to multiply this number by 10 to the 6. Um, and that is going to give us our answer in millivolts. So let's bring up the calculator. Clear our last answer. All right, 0 0.0006783. We need to multiply that by 10 to the power of 6. That's going to give us 678.3 millivolts. 678.3 millivolts. Let's just double check that this is in fact correct. I'm going to quickly get a new pen color if I can. Come on. Okay, I'm not going to get a new pen color. We have to move the decimal point uh, six places to the right. 
So the decimal point will go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, we are right. 678.3. We've gotten rid of the 10 to the 6. We replaced that with the millivolts. And that is our conversion from kilovolts to millivolts. Now, this last example is probably the uh, most difficult. Um, we're going to move... Oh, wow. We're going to move from gigavolts over there, all the way down to nanovolts. So we're definitely moving from a bigger unit to a smaller unit. We're moving in the multiply direction. And the first thing I want to do is rewrite this number without the exponential uh, 10 to the minus 3, without scientific notation. So uh, let's just do quickly do it on the top. We're going to need to move the decimal point another three units um, to, the, to the left. That is going to be one unit, there'll be a zero there. Another unit, there'll be a zero there. And another unit, there'll be a zero there. So the decimal point is going to land up over there. This is zero point. We've got how many zeros? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, two, four. Okay, that is in gigavolts. It's a very small number of gigavolts. Makes sense if you're trying to move it into nanovolts. Okay, what is um, the direction? Of the direction is the multiply direction. And what is the difference in the uh, exponents? How many hops do we need to make? Well, we need to make nine hops. Three, six, nine hops, and then another th nine hops. So that's what we are at. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. 18. So the difference in the exponents is 18. So we need to multiply this by 10 to the power 18. Now I'm definitely going to do this one on a calculator. Zero point. Uh, how many zeros do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 2, 4. We're going to multiply that by 10 to the power 18 equals. Oh, that's quite a big number. All right. Um, this is how many zeros? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So eight, two, four, seven zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven nano. Oh dear, I don't know what happened there. Nano volts. What is this number? Um, it is 824 billion nanovolts. Okay, so now we know that uh, this number, 8, uh, 0 0.0000824 times 10 to the negative 3 gigavolts, is the same thing as 824, no, sorry, 8,240 billion, this shouldn't be there, billion nanovolts. In this case, we had to uh, move from the bigger unit to the smaller unit, that was in the multiply direction, and we had to multiply by 10 to the power of 18. That was the number of hops that we needed to make to get from the original unit down to our new unit.